Building more Incredibles today. This is the Great Home Escape. Let's check it out. Welcome to Built From Bricks. I'm Brian. And you may have heard we're building Incredibles today and this is a review of the Great Home Escape. Really cool set. It was really fun to build and I'll let you take a look at what I've done. So here we have Dash from The Incredibles, and he's riding his skateboard on top of the house. It's a cool minifigure, and there was a Dash and a Mr. Incredible in one of the minifigure collectible series at one point. But here we have him again, and it looks awesome. So over on this wall, we have the Incredible family picture. It's a family portrait above the fireplace. But as you can see, there's a little control panel up behind it, which probably sounds their alarm and lets them know that they need to rush somewhere to go help some unfortunate soul. Over here we have this really cool slide and this must have this red light here just because that lights up when they're ready to jump out of the house. The set is called The Great Home Escape, so they're escaping the home either to help people or because there's a problem. My favorite figure of the set is Jack-Jack and he comes inside of this orange ball. He doesn't come inside the orange ball but he is shown in the instructions to be put inside this ball because one of his powers is becoming a ball of fire and so this is their way of emulating that. I do love the figure. It is the same baby minifigure that has come in other sets now, but it's just very adorable. I love, the, I love the figure. It's one of my favorite minifigs. Here we have Violet, and Violet has her little shield where she creates her force fields. Typically, Violet creates force fields to protect the family. If you've seen The Incredibles 1, you will know that very well. Behind her, we have The Incredibles hotline phone. I'm assuming that's what that is. And inside the drawer is a couple remote controls or whatnot, pieces of equipment. But it's just nice pieces. They're printed pieces. There's no stickers in this set. They're all, because they're just junior set, none of the pieces need to be applied, which is very nice. And very nice for adults, because I don't like applying stickers. Who does? Uh, another part of this set is the pool. It's just a really small, kind of almost like a kiddie pool. Not quite sure what the point of the pool is. It does have that cool water launcher there, which is spraying water over the pool at the moment. But it's just an outdoor scene for this set. I think adding this to a house would be amazing to make an actual full house for this. But these are just some of the accessories that come with this set. One more part of the home escape is this lounge chair. And for some reason, it lets you launch the chair up in the air. Not sure if that's for getting us a quick escape, if it's for launching objects. We have a little juice box on the table there and just a little wildlife and a little fence. And again, it's for playability. This set is... Obviously, a junior set, it's got that in mind, so it's meant for kids to be able to play with and enjoy. And let's go to the one last feature of this set in one moment. With The Incredibles, there's always a villain. The third set has the, the Underminer in it. This has a vehicle for another villain. I'm not sure of her name, but she likes to throw bricks. Her car lets her toss bricks with this little launcher here. So that went flying. But here is the villain itself. And here's the villain. Not sure her name or what her skills are, but she has this brick clothing, and I'm thinking maybe she camouflages into the wall and she can hide, and that's what she does. She does look very menacing, but I think the Incredibles, being who they are, will take her down without a problem. Fun build, fun minifigs, my favorite, Jack-Jack here. But overall, it was a fun set. It's got definite playability for kids. I did like the different accessories it had, although it can use a full house, so maybe some of you a out there want to build a full scale of the house once the movie's out. So I hope you liked The Incredibles and this show. Let us know what you think. Check us out on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as each Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to catch a live stream. Never know what we're going to build that day. Thanks for watching. What have you built today?